thank you for watching this video subscribe to my channel in the background you may hear caribbean music from curacao that's because some of my housemates are now watching i'm not sure if it's called tumba or they're watching some music festival of curacao at the moment so you may hear it in the background but probably not but anyway before i do the laundry there's one thing i want to remind you of oh okay i can uh, remove this hat i'm inside now i just returned from the supermarket as you can see in some of the previous short clips i've uploaded when you cast out the spirit of fear look at how people's behavior towards you change let me repeat it every time you cast out the spirit of fear because these demons they they are quite stubborn they want to come back and sometimes they come back with more but every time you cast out the spirit of fear from around you the way people treat you will change let me explain everyone in this world is vulnerable you were born as a little baby and you grew up and you were dependent upon your parents and you learned to not displease other people because when people are upset they do crazy stuff and there are times people don't take actions against those that do crazy stuff and even if they do if crazy stuff happens and you have been you've been victimized well you don't want that to happen or maybe you saw it happen to others for example you had a kid that's talked back with his parents and received a smack and now in your brain the shock is registered as never speak back to an adult so that's how you've been socialized in certain things or in the classroom uh, people have been humiliated because they didn't act like the other students you, we all have been through such stuff some more than others but this world is fear based society is a fear construct and most of the time you're just dependent upon the goodwill of others and the coercion of others so that people get along with one another so let's say you had this uh, you had this, uh, let's say you're in high school, if you're watching this, and you had this um, teacher, maybe not a teacher, but the, the, the direct, not director, the head of the school, who often looked at you in a weird way because he doesn't like you. Now, let's say now you cast out the spirit of fear. And with it, you also go further, you cast out the spirit of violence. Next day, you arrive at school, the guy sees you, I'm saying the guy, the head of school sees you and moves away. But before, when he saw you, always would look angry at you or act irritated. Now he doesn't do it anymore. What has happened? Because the spirit of fear was around you and because you had an open door in your energy field, he had access to leak out his negativity towards you. And he was comfortable doing it. Now that you cast out those demons and the hole is filled, he can't do it anymore. So anytime he decides to will against you, to have a will against you, it it can't leak out you anymore, so it bounces back. So now he, he becomes terrified. Why? Because it's his own violence is directed back at him. But he interpreted it as if the violence comes from you, so now he becomes frightened of you. But you didn't do anything. He's the one with the violence, he's the one with the negative will, not you. Before, you just have to find a way to deal with it because he's the head of the school. He can hinder you from graduating, so you have to be careful. Now you're not under that, on that threat anymore. And now the other teachers around also have to look out how they treat you. And some are going to become upset with you, going to lose it against you, because that fright that is returned back onto them, they perceive it as it's coming from you, and they're freaking out. Some of the stu fellow students or fellow pupils may also try to begin to treat you differently. What has happened? You have dealt with the paranormal root of the issue. Before, when you didn't know any better, just deal dealt with people. When people didn't like you, you just find a way to deal with it, or you just didn't spoke often. Now that the spirit of fear is out, now the spirit of violence is out, now you're open, now you're now you're opening your mouth, now you are being you. When people wanted to shut up beforehand, they could just look angry at you or scream at you or become angry at you. Now they can't do that because every time they have a negative will, it bounces back, bang, onto them. And after a while, some people are going to completely avoid you. They're going to run away from you. And you know what? When that happens, praise the Lord. You shouldn't live under the threat of someone else's will. That shouldn't happen at all. 
and you shouldn't especially have to be under the spell of a collective will or a group of people that can't be defended. You shouldn't. Yes, people can expect you to behave when it's appropriate if they can defend that expectation. People can have expectations of you. They can. They can expect you to behave a certain way. They can require things from you. They can. As long as it can be defended. As long as they can account for it. But at the moment people can't account for something but just will it and you just have to find a way to do with it, that's wicked. And, the, and they, when people have this will that they don't want to let go of, they, they look for someone to release it onto. To release it, have this answer, so they are at ease. It can be that, let me say, it can be that you were this guy that you used to have a, a rough, you had a rough childhood and should have the wrong friends. So now you have police officers that can't stand you, you have people in the neighborhood that can't stand you, you have people that, that fired you from the job that can't stand you, you have a lot of people that have a will against you. But now that you are delivered, you cast out all those demons and you operate and, and you oh. send things back onto the enemy's camp. All those people, all of them, whether they are from the police of, of, from the police station or from your former high school or among your relatives or strangers, it doesn't matter. They all are forced to revise their will towards you. Now, if they don't, they're the ones facing consequences. I've experienced this. You know what? Years back when I was 14, 15 years old, people dared to just look weird at me, say crazy stuff, uh, people close but far away. The more I kept walking my faith, the more, the more I began to decree and operate in the supernatural. They began to freak out, they became angry, they became upset, they don't know what to do. And I was thinking, what the heck is wrong with you? And sure what now, later on, the suit was going on. They wanted me to have to deal with their will so that they can feel validated. Their will is so important, you need to look out for their will. And some people even try to act out fis in physical violence towards me. Because they will stuff well, not anymore. Those demons are cast out, they're not coming back, and everyone that dares to will something that they can't uh, account for, when? Their issue. I'm not going to pay evil for evil, I'm not going to wish harm on others. No, no, I'm not aiming at that. I overcome evil with good. It's still overcoming evil with good, but I don't. I don't forget that they're the ones in evil, they're the ones holding on to the negative. Yes, you overcome evil with good, you walk in love towards others, you are forgiven all of that. However, they ought to repent of that negativity. And some will not repent. So listen, when you cast out the spirit of fear, you will also cast out, cast out the spirit of violence, the spirit of poverty, the spirit of loneliness, the spirit of... Oh, wait, there are all types of ways spirits operate. When you cast them out, and not only casting out, you only also begin to decree abundance, biblical abundance upon yourself and around you. Watch how people respond to it. It's there. It's there. I wouldn't say it's then that their true cause are revealed. And I make these videos in public, and also at home, nobody dares lay a hand on me. It's because I know how things work spiritually. And I operate in the supernatural. I don't go to the paranormal where it's only the leaf. And the relief is short-lived and you have all kinds of um, limitations because if you're operating in the paranormal and people don't like you there's their the energy they flow to you is shielded up but you still have to deal with their with, with, with the threat and all of that but when you operate in the supernatural you step upon those scor scorpions and those serpents and it's over i'm not saying that people will stop and demons will stop demons may go to go from one one host towards another to harass you and some of those people may uh, throw you away, never want to talk about you um, anymore because they've become frightened. So they won't leave you alone. But there may be other people that don't want to let go and try to come after you. Just realize, in the paranormal, you only have short-term fixes, which often have fatal side effects. When you walk by faith and operate exponential, you turn upon scorpions and serpents. And let me tell you, when people decide they have a will against you and they don't want to give up that will, and they keep mapping negatively, you are in danger. Yes, you are in danger. Because there will be someone who is so vulnerable to negative energy and demons will work through them to harass you. If, you, if measures are, if actions are not taken on time on your behalf, you can even die. That's how there are people out there that had weird accidents and they died. Or you had someone that was, that was attacked viciously by someone else. 
there's something serious over here. That, that's how you had people that encountered physical sicknesses that were the consequence of paranormal hauntings. And those paranormal hauntings came through by the negative meditation of other people. Yes, such things happen. Not here, not with R.E. does it, not with Rashid. It, it ain't going to happen over here. I'm not going to wish harm on others. Again, I'm not going to be evil with evil. I'm, I'm walking in love towards others. That's what Christ expects of me. But, uh, hold on. I'm not going to take the threat and the fright of the world. No, 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 no. Neither should you. And what I've talked about now, I've experienced it. And you know what? Rejoice when those people become frightened of you and they run away from you because that means that they have no access to harm you anymore. The moment they realize they can't harm you or that option is not open because some people, they have nothing against you, but when they are done with you or they can't stand you, they just will it and you have to take it. They don't want any responsibility towards you, nor do they want to give an account, they just will stuff. That's also a violent mindset. But the moment those people realize that they can't have that, that violent mindset, mindset towards you, they ought to be responsible, they frighten. And the moment they realize that they can't resist without things backfiring onto them, they'll disappear. That's how people disappeared from me. And I praise the Lord. I'm not going to live on that threat, on that fright. No. I will not. Some of you have debt collectors harassing you. Some of you have people who keep murmuring behind your back. Or they are so confident into your face when you are around, they talk bad about you as if you're not there. People did it with me also. After a while, when they realized uh, it's not going, they can't release themselves freely anymore, they'll either back down, apologize in order to be at peace, or they will just disappear and never come back. No, no matter how it happens, keep walking by faith. You ought to be free. That being said, agree with Christ and be at peace.